he knows that. Folks, it's serious. I've told you one thing that's important tonight. You've got to change the hearts and the minds of the people that live around you. You've got to change the hearts and minds of the people that live around you. You've got to pray. It says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And I wonder sometimes when they invited all the Muslims to come into the White House <laughs> and have them a little Ramadan supper when our president could not take the time to go attend a national prayer breakfast. I wonder what he stands for. You know what? They told me that what you say speaks so loudly that, well, excuse me, what you do speaks so loudly that what you say I cannot hear. I hear you loud and clear, Barack Obama. You don't represent the country that I grew up with. And your values is not going to save us. We're going to try to take this country back for the Lord. We're going to try to take this country back for conservatism. And we're not going to allow minorities to run roughshod over what you people believe in. Here's what I want to leave you with. I'm sorry I went a little bit long. Wow, man. Where to begin? <laughs> Look, I mean, if you want to vote for these people, by all means, but just know who you're voting for. You're voting for the American Taliban. I mean, you heard God, 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 every uh, country with the Lord and the Lord and the no, no. Dude, that's not what this country is about. If you think that, I'm sorry, but you have no idea what this country is about. I mean, this country was founded on the exact opposite of those principles. This country was founded with a separation between church and state. This country was founded specifically to be secular. That's not to say that you're not allowed to practice religion. Quite the opposite. You can practice whatever religion you want in your private time. But you're not supposed to mix God and state together. It's a toxic mix. But these guys don't care about that. They don't care about American history. They don't care about the Constitution. They don't care what the reality of our history has been, they just go out there, take what their opinion is, and pretend like the country is wholly in line with what their personal opinions are about politics. But you're wrong, they're just not like that. And then look, when he starts talking about uh, Muslims invited to the White House, yada yada, I, first of all, I have no idea what he's talking about. And if there ever were Muslims invited to the White House, I'm sure it was as benign as benign can be, just like you would invite uh, Christians, a Christian group on one day, a Muslim group another day, you know, a women's group on another day, et cetera, et cetera. Well, what are you talking about, man? See, that's the problem. And they, all they're doing, they're trying to portray this sentiment that a lot of people in middle America, the, the Republican base feel. They feel like Barack Obama is like a Manchurian candidate, right? I mean, he's in there to represent Islam and uh, bring down America but it's like, how can you possibly believe that after he's already been in office four years and he was the most moderate Republican-like president ever? I mean, this is a guy very pro-establishment, very pro-status quo. He pissed off a lot of his base, including me, because he's not nearly as progressive as I wanted him to be, right? As Cenk Uger of the Young Turk says, we wanted change. He gave us pocket change. I mean, the guy tries at every turn to appease Republicans and make Republicans feel comfortable and like him, etc. He's as vanilla as vanilla can be. But these guys still go out there and use the cold words. Talk about, oh, we might be Muslim. Oh, uh, you know, uh, we got to bring this country back to its rightful owners. You don't represent the country I grew up in. What do you mean? It's still America. What, just because we elected the first black president, now all of a sudden it's not the country uh, you grew up in? But it is the country you grew up in. But that's the thing, you see. Now, look, I'm not saying all Republicans are racist, because they're not. But when you hear guys like this, you're telling me you don't think he's racist? Did you not, do you not have ears? Look, he just said we're not going to allow minorities to run roughshod over us. What are you talking? What minorities are running roughshod over you? See, that's the thing. That has no connection to reality whatsoever. We elect one half-black president. And all of a sudden, white people flip out. Oh, my God, our power is going away. We need to do something to try to keep our hands on it. Oh, my God, what if they want revenge for, for the stuff that we did to them uh, thousands of years, hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago? God, that would be bad, wouldn't it? See, that's the thing. Uh, middle America hillbilly redneck pricks like this guy here, right? He thinks 
well, God, I didn't give a fuck about uh, black people when they were, when our boot was on their neck, you know, pre the Civil Rights Act, the, the history of discrimination and lynching and slavery in this country. I learned about all that and I thought, tough cookies, right? I didn't have sympathy. I didn't have empathy. So he thinks now that, that Barack Obama's in power, black people are not going to have empathy on white people and they're going to try to like enslave us or something. Yeah, but not everybody is as crazy or immoral as you.